Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm super excited to share something special with you all. It's a cool self-care planner that I created to prioritize um, our well-being despite our busy lives. And this planner is all about making self-care a part of our daily routine. It has sections for goal setting, reflection, etc, etc. Let me take you through the planner and let's see how we can all take better care of ourselves while juggling the many roles that we play. Now, investing in this planner can be a game changer in how, um, in how you approach self-care because uh, it's designed with practicality in mind and it's perfect for bus uh, busy moms like us, any parent actually, but it's flowery, so moms. Um, so let's start this fun session where we can learn and grow together. So let me see how I can turn this camera this way. Okay, there we are. I've already unboxed this, but I'm gonna pretend to unbox it again. So there we go. It's from Amazon. And that's the planner. Come on out, okay. So that's what it looks like on the outside. And inside, oh, nothing exciting there. This is the first page. Okay, because we are the focused people. And then uh, we have the contents page here. It's an undated planner, so you can, you know, uh, name the months that you're tracking. And you have the page numbers for them. And then you have some um, guide on how you can set up your planner. There's nothing too much. Um, there's not a lot of homework there to do because I know you guys are busy. Then you have a section for roles and goals, and I have some tips in the bottom. Now, as Muslims, as Muslim moms, we have lots of roles that we play. And so it's nice when we know why we're playing those roles and to have goals under each of them and to have a deadline for each because that'll help you beat procrastination. And um, yeah, now you don't need to have many, many roles. Like you don't need to be a professional. Uh, and if it's, and if you're, you don't have a spouse then you don't need to play the role of a spouse but this is just in case you have five roles to play da, 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 da. okay and then every month starts with a saying from the Quran or the hadith that might help you throughout the month and then this is uh, the reflection kind of section and to plan the, the coming month okay so it helps you reflect on the previous month and then plan the next month and at the end uh, we have like these sections these are dotted lines so that if you want to draw it's easier than if you have lines just lines and then here you have some empty space here and then you have like an image that you can color because coloring books are kind of popular now and i thought let's inculcate that instead of like buying a separate coloring book and here this is week one and this is the most important page every week you're going to have the month and then you can fill in the days and dates here okay for the seven days some people like to start their weeks on a friday and some people like it like to start on a sunday or even a saturday or monday so you can fill it up accordingly you know and you have the inshallah list it's to plan your priorities for this week like what you inshallah will be doing and then here you have the alhamdulillah list for gratefulness you can even draw stuff there if you want to be extra creative or whatever and then here you have the timings and uh, there's not much of space to fill in for the night because you're supposed to be taking care of yourself and sleeping. But there is a PM section for anything you want to write. And then there's like that AM section for the hedgehog and anything else you plan to do before 6 AM. You have a habit tracker every week. So you can write the important things you want to track that week. Like if you're interested in tracking the amount of water you're drinking or your morning and evening of car or whatever. And then every week ends with like something to reflect on it can be a question or a statement and then every week has a picture that you can color and then the section is just for any recipes notes anything you want to write that week and every week you have that kind of a section to reflect on then you can color again and this keeps going on and on and let me see if we can get to Na, 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 na. end of the 
Yep, so the second month starting with another a Quranic verse this time. And then you have the reflection section. And this basically just keeps repeating all throughout the planner. Okay. Um, um, I'm kind of excited about the coloring sections. Um, um, every planner is such that they have a lot of sections to cater to different people, but you don't need to fill everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're not tracking habits, uh, that's fine too. So you can track whatever you want to track and just leave the other sections blank or you can just draw, draw in them. Yeah, so then in the end, we have some um, productivity tips and yeah, some plain sections and then some productivity tips for you and more tips for you. Then we have a self-care checklist. That's a good reminder. So then you have some self-care ideas that can help. You know, you can pick and choose. Like you can just circle the ones that you like and let go of the ones that you don't care too much about. And that's the end of this planner. Okay. And um, ta -da -da. oh, that's like empty pages. Yeah, that's from Amazon. So, um, yep, that's it something dirty here um anyway that's the planner and i hope that you guys will visit the website and check out the planner and see if it fits your needs and your likes and give it a try inshallah okay then